Hey y'all, it's American Mum. Now, I'm about to start episode five of The Haunting of Hill House. I was going to finish and do it last night. And the name of this freaking episode is The Bent Neck Lady. Now, we've heard about her and we've kind of seen her. But the whole episode is called this. So, I was like, I'm not watching this anywhere close to my bedtime. Because it will give me nightmares. So, here I am the next morning. <laughs> and I'm going to just get through it. The episodes are getting better. Like, they're building on each other and all that. And... Why is, this, why is this episode an hour and ten minutes? I just noticed that. Oh, we get a lot of her. Great. Great. Okay. I'm going to do this. This is episode five. Let's do this. <gasps> oh, hell. It's a... I saw her. She's broken neck, not bent. It was like a bent neck baby. Well, that's a new one. She's gone now, right? For now. Yeah, but as soon as you leave. Tell me what's inside your locket. You know what's inside my locket. I have. Can I have a locket like that someday? You can hold on to it tonight. And when you're older, I'll give you this one. That exact one. She was holding it. That exact one. I get it. Okay. When you're older. Well. Okay. Yeah. Because she had it later on. Yeah, she has it there. Oh, God. Okay. I'm prepared for this part. But I don't want to see her face again. She's frozen with fear. It's not right. Ew. I'm frozen. I can't talk or move my arms or legs. I usually start to panic and my breath gets fast and heavy. My heart feels like it's pounding out of my chest. Bless her. Is that her husband? It feels like hours sometimes. Like, is that how they meet? The first. He just told me to avoid TV before that time. Mm-hmm. I have bad dreams. Do you drink coffee? Yes. Uh, yeah, I... Are you... Are you asking me if I want to get coffee? I... It's uh, just for the health history section. Caffeine. Oh. <laughs> Planning on waiting until the end of your visit to ask you out for coffee. Aww. Since you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute together. Aww. I thought he was going to see something while she sleeps. Then he believes her. Maybe he doesn't. Let us go. Aww, what happened? Let us go. She was happy. How long y'all been dating? The whole family's there. So, except the dad. Where the hell is he? I was like, what is she staring at? That's so romantic. She's paralyzed. Okay. Control. Oh. Uh, what am I doing? Damn it! Does something happen to him? And she can't handle it on her own. That's why she. Okay, this is the wedding, but something happens. 
course she wouldn't have done what she did because he helps her through it. I'm going to cry at this one, won't I? Even though I'm terrified to see that lady again. There's the dad. Thanks for showing up. That's a twin thing. I wouldn't get my hopes too high. Ah. Who knows if there'll be in any conditions here. I hope he does. I wish he was here today. Well, they banned him. Oh. Okay. Eight months later. I swear to God, if something happens to him, that's when she's going to unravel. Is she on medication? Breathe. Clench your fist. Ever does. Jacqueline's cup of stars. Here she is. Jacqueline? Jacqueline Hill. Her mom owned this house, Mrs. Hill. This was her room, actually. Hazel. Her name was Hazel. This is why she targets her. She's messing with her cup of stars. Maybe she breaks it, too. Hell. Nellie. Oh, God. Mommy, look what I found. Would you like to tell your sister what you did? I did it. Oh. She says she didn't. Migraine. Hell. Are you okay? No. No. Nobody is. I have a steel poker in my head and my daughters are trashing my... It's probably not even chalk. What is it? Blood? Oh! She's gonna touch it. Yeah. Tell us what happened. You didn't. You can tell with your hand down this wallpaper anyway. What'd that say? <gasps> ah, I don't like it. Now, what makes you go back to that house? Oh, there's there's Luke. You believe me, right? I believe you. I, I always, always believed you when, when, when we were kids and, and, and later when you, when you saw, you said you saw, I, I, I believed you. Believe me, Bill. She's going to do it for him. Oh I mean, I see why they can't live together. They're both messed up and he needs to be in rehab, but, but they understand each other. What are you going to take? No. Tell him. Really? I hate that bitch. Yeah, yeah she is on meds. <gasps> but don't lecture me about adulthood, Theo. Not from Shirley's fucking guest house. Wow. Mm. Is that the last time she sees her? This little fight? It was fascinating. You've never been there. Yeah. It's true. But see, neither of you, not for a long, long time. And I think that if you were to look at it today, after all these years, that's when in the woods, no, you'd find it's not a monster. That's when she goes. It's even a house. It's a carcass. Oh, you no lived there in Barker. Like Twenty-six years, you said. Shit. It's just a building. Oh, she has a star mug. It's not the star mug, but. Aww. She fell 
on the floor. Where? We're in the red room. What? In the, in the red room, having a tape party with Akil and Mommy. How? The red room's locked. Oh, she's doing seven. This fucked up family. These kids. Really. <laughs> Luke. She doesn't answer it either. She saw him like that. She thinks he's dead. And we're going to go back to the Hill House and we're going to see what happens other than her dancing around. Nobody answered her calls. Holy hell. This is so depressing. Oh, we're going to see that wo that woman. Keep walking. <gasps> Shh! I want to throw this. Okay. Here we go. We're going to see what she sees or, or how she dies maybe. I don't know. Oh, it is that. Yeah. Where are you? I'm at home. In bed. I want you to go to Stephen Lee's. I, I, I'm, I'm going to drive to Orlando. Get a flight to LA. Steve's closest. Go to him. The lights are all on. Oh, the porch light. I'm sorry. She's going to go be with sorry to Mom. <gasps> Welcome home, Nell. We always knew. We always believed you. Because this is how she sees it, and we see it how it is. Put on that gown. You're expected. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. What reception? Thanks for believing in me, Nelly. You did the trick. You clean and sober, all thanks to you. Why does she still do this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's who she's dancing with. Different people. Come along. We're going to have a tea party. <sighs> oh, the red room. That they could never get in. Okay. Oh god. Oh no, that oh the rope. Is that how she dies? Oh, this is so sweet and but still creepy. Everything she's always wanted at the very end. What? It's okay. It's not her. It's time to wake up, sweetheart. She sees it as her. 
first of all, I want to say, if you know of anybody, seriously, if you know of anybody that says they see things, um, they're waking up with panic attacks, they feel things, they uh, have night terrors, they um, are thinking of this or that or whatever, like you, you need to believe them and you need to try and help them and give them help. There's nothing worse than not believing somebody that has a mental illness because you're going to look back on it if or when they do something that's not the time when you can go oh shit you know what I mean they came to me and I said well you know we all have bad dreams or we all do this or that I'm not saying you're responsible 100% for what, you know, what the outcome is. But to believe them is a big step. I'm just saying. I know it is. Someone to believe you when you're feeling like shit or you're feeling like you're in a black hole. Somebody has to believe you. They have to hear you. You try and help them. You get them to see a therapist. She should have kept taking her meds. And then you just are there for support you're not to be a punching bag you're not to be there to for them to like consume your life but you can do more than what a lot of people tend to just go eh you'll be fine like it's a real thing depression is mental illness severe anxiety, PTSD, it is a mental illness. There is something going on and they can't work it out. And you just have to listen. So I wanna just get that out there first. My head really hurts. Oh, it all comes together now. The bent neck lady is her. Like from when she was a child. It was her as a grown-up with the bent neck because that's how she died. I don't like it. I knew something was going to happen um, when she met Anthony, which we know they get married. And I was like, this is sweet. And she was doing good. And I said, if something happens to him, because why would she be so happy and like you know he was always like when she'd wake up he'd talk her through it and do this and do that but she didn't kill him when he had his neck bent or whatever maybe he just did have an aneurysm I don't know it couldn't have been her she wouldn't have killed him Anyway, something did happen to him, and then that's when she started spiraling. But every time she kept seeing it, later, it was her. Oh, the whole house situation. I kind of wanted to know what happened. Because uh, they left us in the first couple episodes of, of her going there and talking to her dad. After he had just felt an arm go across him and he looks in the bed and it's like ah, ah. so he's still having nightmares he's seen his wife in her last stage which we still need to see what he saw he has seen everything he just talked to the authorities and all that and we'll get there but I'm just saying but the way it was done the porch light going and then she goes in and it's it's like her wedding day all over again it's so sweet and creepy at the same time. And she saw Luke, like he was there, because he wasn't at her wedding, so he was there. And she saw him looking good, and then it was, it was all these good memories, and all of them saying, we did believe you. We did. And then the mom is tearing back the wallpaper and adding to come home now, she's adding the W-E-L, welcome home now, that gave me chills. Her mom is still looking uh, nice. Like we've seen her with like half her head blown off or whatever. I think that's how she died. 
but she looked fine and it was like it's your reception and then behind Luke is her her husband to be and she's happy and then when they started to dance I was like that's who she's dancing with and we don't see who else it is it's so sad because she sees it like this and they were going up to the red room the mother I thought the mother's face was gonna change because the dad kept saying uh, when when Stephen was like where's mommy and he remember and he was dragging him out and he was like close your eyes and he was like it's not her so something went into her or something and I thought I'd see a change in the mom's face but she just got real close to her and she was like you need to wake up kissed her on the forehead and and she had warned her husband in the first episode about getting rid of the ropes because somebody was gonna you know it was a it was a death trap literally there's so much going through my mind right now I can't wrap my head around the whole episode because we basically just took Nell's you know spiraling journey into depression she got rid of her meds you should never do that you should never just go right off your meds everybody knows that maybe she thought it would help uh, Luke couldn't be there for because he was doing dealing with his own shit she had no one she interrupted the the book thing that Stephen was doing and he was pissed off about that um, she wanted um, Theo to, to, to put her hand on the pillow in the place where her husband died and then she was just like I'm not a circus act I'm not here to you know do all this and so no wonder everybody feels like crap but in her mind the Hill House everybody was making amends we did believe you we've always believed you we knew you didn't write that on the wall and then Theo says I'm sorry we fought she's like it's okay and I'm like this is so good but I know what happens like I didn't know she was gonna get hung but I know that she commits suicide like oh, she's having good memories there and and but at the end we see what happens so Oh, the bent neck lady is her. I'm so, I'm so like trying to wrap my head around it because it's wow. This was such a good episode that I'm ready to see the next one. I think this was I was very afraid of this one, and it was the longest episode I think I've seen so far. I've said since episode three like it's starting to intertwine and make more sense to me now the first two episodes you're kind of like well that doesn't make any sense and what's this about and we're just we're building yeah um i think we're gonna go back now maybe to when luke found out about Nell because that was in the last episode so i hope he handles things okay i don't know i don't know but this was really good thank you for watching this with me if you're a patron i hope you've been enjoying the full hour-long picture-in-picture reactions until the next video and the next time